Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Pauline Fu. In this video, I will demonstrate concepts and skills presented in Microsoft Project Chapter 1. Okay. I will demonstrate those concepts and skills by going over our practice questions on page 53. Okay. Uh, these practice questions uh, will cover the following topics. Explore project window, prepare project schedule and calendar, manually type in tasks and create dependencies among tasks, modify task dependencies, and finally prepare project for printing. So I'm going to share my computer so that you can see my steps. Okay. Just try to find the share computer screen. So all right. So page fifty-three. It was a branch here. Okay. You'll be granted not this one here. No portfolio. It is blood test here. Okay. You have been asked by a student senior to be the project lead of a blood drive at your school to promote a course that saves millions of lives each year. To demonstrate your project management skill, you decide to use Project 2016 to set up the plan for the blood drive. The senior would like to hold the blood drive in October. Note that the campus will be closed on September 27, 2019. You decide to use Project 2016 to help determine a date for the blood drive. You are available to work on the planning of this project Wednesday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. So you don't work afternoon, just 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And it is just Monday to Friday. That means Monday and Tuesday is now working time for this project. Okay. So we are going to uh, complete uh, step A to Z. Okay. So step A, open a new blank project file. And then save this one. PM01 CH01 blood drive uh, as the project uh, name. Okay, so I'm going uh, to do this um, using apps anywhere. Okay, before you use apps anywhere, uh, make sure uh, you install the VPN. See, uh, so VPN, I already connected. So I'm okay. I've already installed and connected. So after you installed and connected to VPN, you then go to Apps Anywhere. Okay. So I'm going to open a page. Oops. Ground slash apps anywhere. And then I click apps anywhere link and type in your GBC credentials. Username is your student number. Password is the same as your still view password. And then click Open Apps Anywhere. Uh, there are over 100 apps available. 
So you can go to the search button here, search apps. Just type in project, so it will come out here, Microsoft project. And then click launch button. Um, quick launch button, it will take a while. Okay, one moment. So, we are going to create a new blank project. So, this is a quick blank project, double quick. Uh, and then save this file, save as. Uh, remember, when you use apps anywhere, you should save the project on OneDrive at George Brown College. So I'm going to select OneDrive. In OneDrive, I created some folders. Okay, so I will go to uh, comp 1115 folder. Okay. And then the project name is TM01 TM CH01. Okay. Blood drive. Underscore. Last name, my last name Fu, first name Paul Lee. Oops. So P -E -L -I -N -E. So that is your step one. Open a new blank project file and save the file on one drive at George Brown. Now you have the file name appear on the top of project window here. So we completed uh, step uh, A, and step B, B asks you to uh, set the project start date to August 29, 2019. Uh, those steps are just brief. Uh, in the textbook, it is give you the detailed steps on which button you need to click to set up the start date. Here it just briefly says go to project, then um, properties group and project information. Okay, so you click the project. Okay, uh, and then uh, under properties group, click project information. And now the start date, uh, you select August 29, click the down arrow key. August 29th, okay, so that is the uh, start date, and then you click OK button. Okay. And then on the project tab, this is a step uh, two, okay. Uh, step three ask you to Set up the working time. Remember, working time is uh, Wednesday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Okay, and also you don't work on Monday and Tuesday. So Monday and Tuesday is non-working time. Okay. So we are going to do this step, step C. Okay, um, so quick. Uh, after project tab is selected, you click change working time, double click, okay. Um, so uh, click the week, work weeks tab, work weeks tab, and then click details, okay. Uh, by the way, the steps I am showing you, how do I know quick work weeks tab? It is uh, uh, stated. In the textbook, you need to go over page one to page 50, okay, to get uh, knowledge uh, and the techniques. So quick workbooks, then quick details. Now select Wednesday. 
and Thursday, Fridays. Okay, uh, those are working time. You click this radio button. Set date to this specific working time. It is just for them. Uh, eight to twelve. It is not from one to um, five. So you press one to five and press delete key. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I'm using the mark. It won't let me to delete. I tried this in my PC, a Windows computer. It works well. So if you are using mark, you can maybe just ignore this one here okay just keep it is um because you can't delete okay, i'll try to see i cannot delete okay uh, so that's why i i am using mark to demo to illustrate uh, this one okay. so i'm just typing original uh, time so uh, those are the working time. You have for Monday and Tuesday, which is non-working time. So you click radio button, set date to non-working time. Okay. And then click OK button. Okay. Uh, so you complete um, step C. Okay. Um, We also did step D, okay, we delete. We didn't clear the one to five, but you can do this on um, our Windows computer. I'm using Mac right now. Um, uh, so let's do step E, quick exceptions. Uh, and then we need to enter data September 27th um, is now working date remember the description here so september 27th the college will be closed okay so uh, step e okay so quick exceptions and type in okay. college closed for in service Um, so it is a uh, September twenty seventh, twenty nineteen. September twenty seventh, twenty nineteen, and finish on the same day. September twenty seventh. Okay, so you add exceptions in step E. Uh, and then click OK button. Okay, click OK button. Um, now step F. Uh, step F asks you to uh, make auto schedule. You can do manually schedule or you can do the auto schedule. When you select auto schedule, the project will automatically schedule coordinates uh, the calendar for you. Okay, um, so let's do step F. Okay, auto schedule, auto schedule. Step F. So you are here. Now, quick task, quick task. Menu, and then you have a tasks group. Here you have the mode. Okay. Um, select auto schedule. Okay. All right. So next, step G. Um, you want to see the view bar. How do you see view bar? This is the question some students uh, encountered. Okay. So you do this. 
you have on the far left here, you have Gantt chart, vertical Gantt chart. Right click your mouse. Right click your mouse. And then select view bar. See, those are the view bars. You have calendar, Gantt chart, network diagram, etc. Okay. Um, so you completed step uh, G. Okay. Uh, next step. Next step, you are asked to add the timeline. Okay. And how do you add the timeline? Uh, again, for the page one to page fifty, it will give you detailed, detailed step by step. Okay, how do you add timeline? So you go to the view, click the view, okay. uh, and then under the split view here, make sure you check out timeline. Okay, if you want to see the difference here, I already checked out timeline. If I uncheck it. You see what happened? You don't have timeline. So I will click timeline again. You see the difference. You see the timeline is appeared here. This part is timeline. This part here. Okay, I'll do it again. You see the difference. Without timeline and with timeline. Okay, so this step asks us to add a timeline. I already add timeline. Okay. And now step H, we did step H, and step I, enter the following tasks and the durations into the entry table. Okay, in this project window, this part, see where is my mouse, this is the entry table, this part, entry table. And this part is the Gantt chart, and between entry table, and the Gantt chart, you have this guy here called split bar. Split bar. Okay, you can move to the right. Okay, you can move to the left. This is the split bar. So anyway, in step I, we are asked to uh, create some tasks for this project. The first task is select blank. Uh, okay, select. Flat drive campus location. The duration is uh, four hours, four H means four hours. Okay. And the next task set blood drive go. And this duration is the one H means one hour. Type duration one H one hour. Okay. Um, and the next one form a recruitment team. And press enter. And this task will be two days. So two D is two days. As you can see, because we set automatically schedule, it you know uh, this project because it will take two days, it will finish on August uh, 30 because we set uh, automatic schedule. Okay. So task four, divide team roles and duties. And this one, two hours. Next one, plan promotional strategy. Plan promotional strategies. And it is four hours. 
and task six, publicize the blank drive. Publicize the blank drive. And this is one day, one peak is one day. Okay. Uh, task seven, schedule appointments. Schedule appointments would take two weeks. So two W is two weeks. The next one, get visitor parking passes. That is a two hours. And task 10, email appointment reminder messages. And now task 9, visitor parking pass. I missed one schedule appointment. I missed task 8, check site arrangements. Um, check site arrangements. Check site arrangements. Get visiting passing. So I'm going to insert. Um, I'm going to insert uh, a new tasks. Insert tasks because I missed one. Um, so schedule appointment. I have check site arrangements. Okay, and that is should be task eight. So I'm going to move this into here. So task eight is a check site arrangements. Okay. Uh, step uh, task nine is the visitor pass. Yes, task seven schedule. Appointments. Now, task 10, email appointment, reminder messages. Task 10 is four hours. Four hours. And task 11, Post directional arrows and posters. Around campus. So that is task 11, one hour. All right, so we completed step I, entering the task, okay, entering the task. Step J uh, asks you to use spell check to see um, if you're typing some names incorrectly, okay? So we are going to go to quick access bar here. This is the quick access bar. Uh, I do not have a spell check. This is the one, the textbook, um, giving you detailed steps on how to add um, the spell check. Okay, so this, go to this quick access bar, and then you click more comments. More comments. Uh, under the job list from this window, you select all comments. All comments. Um, oops. All comments. And then uh, you scroll down until you found uh, ABC spell checked. Uh, spell check button. It should be until you found the. S start with S M O P 
OPQRS as spell check. Spell check. Where is the spell check? Oops, you killed. Yeah, yeah. Spelling, okay. Spelling. And then click add button. Okay. Uh, and then click oops, okay button. Okay. Uh, I won't see the quick OK button. Okay. So now you have this ABC spelling check. Okay, spelling. Okay. So you click this one. Uh, so it said promotions change to this. Yes, change to this. We, I just have one typo. Okay. So then click OK button. Okay. All right. So we did the spell check. Next. Uh, step K, okay. I ask you to add a new task, okay. Um, and then the new task name is create promotional materials. The duration is five hours. Where do you add the new task? You have to click the task six first. So click task six. This is task six, okay. Uh, and then uh, right click your mouse, select insert tasks. So you have new tasks. Um, so you can type in the task name and try to find the task name. Create proportional material. Uh, so I double click it here. That, uh, you can directly go to that now. Create. Create promotional materials. Uh, five hours. So this is five hours without question mark. So this is the new task. Mm -hmm. And so next task. Uh, next is a quick the draw, quick task 10. Okay, and then drag task 10 after task 11. So this uh, step uh, will show you how to move task around. Okay, so quick and drag it after task 11. So where is task 10? This is task 10. Okay, oops. Task 10, quick and drag it, oh no, not here. You have to go to draw selector until you see four headed arrow. Four headed arrow. Quick and drag it after 11. Release your mouse. See? Okay. So this is a, uh, you move the task around. Uh, after that, uh, we are here. Quick task seven. Okay, and then add a new task before task seven. The new task is contact local businesses. Okay, uh, there are many ways to add new task. One I showed you, you right click your mouse, you select new task. This is another way uh, you can go to tasks. Okay, uh, so let's select task seven first. Select task seven, and again, go to here, 
tasks. Okay. And you have uh, under the insert, you have this task and task again. That way you insert uh, a new task. Okay. Uh, the new task is contact local businesses. So I'm going to delete this one. Contact local business. Press pub. The duration is six hours. So six H is six hours. Um, so we finished step M. We finished this one step N and double click task seven. Okay. And then write a note on task seven. How do you write a note on task? Again, textbook page one to page 50, give you the detailed instructions, okay? The note is contact the webmaster to place, contact the webmaster to place blood drive in full on college website, okay? So this is for task seven, okay? Uh, so you double click task seven and you have task information. Click the notes tab, and then type in the note, contact the webmaster. Place blood drive in four, in four, on college website. Um, so we finish this step, add a note. After you add a note, you see on the information column I here, this is information column, okay? You have a little icon. If you mouse over, it said, contact the webmaster to place blood drive into college website, okay? Uh, so this is... Um, Um, step N, step O. Uh, we need to add your name. When you print out this project, I need to see your name on the top right corner. Okay, top right corner. And how do you do this? Okay. Um, so go to file, file, uh, print. Print uh, and then um, this one file print uh, try to find a button. Uh, no, go to options, go to file options, uh, and then I go to schedule no general. Uh, there is a display. Not here. I have to check. That. Because this is the mark, which is a, if you use Windows, you go to file, page setup, uh, you can do that smoothly. Um, I'll try to find a way to go to the page. Uh, 
uh, try to find the lay layout page layout button here. Um, um see what the uh, okay, I will just click OK button. Um so layout project project there is a layout button. Hmm. It should be print. Oh, page setup is here. Go to file, print, then page setup. And then, uh, and then uh, header. Okay. Uh, click right. And then type in your name. Okay. And click OK button. You see, your name is here on the top right corner. Okay, um, so this is a uh, this one. Add your name on the printout. Okay, uh, next step step P. Um, quick network diagram. Okay, and then quick task 13. Okay, uh, insert a new tasks. Okay, so step P asks you to insert a new task. In network diagram view, okay. Uh, step P. So go back. This is the go back button. Uh, go back, and then go to network diagram. Um, network diagram. Select task thirteen. Okay. Scroll down. Select this task 13, you see the ID, okay, select task 13. Okay. Uh, and then go to task, quick task menu. Under insert group, select task, and then quick task. Okay, uh, so see this new task uh, is inserted. Okay, um, double click. Double click this new task, uh, go to general. The task name is Blood Drive Begins. Blood Drive Begins. The duration is uh, zero day. Zero D means zero day. Uh, when our duration is zero day, that is a milestone. Okay. If it is milestone, it is in this shape. It is not rectangle. Okay. It's like the diamond. Okay. Uh, shape means milestone. Duration is zero. Okay. Um, and now, uh, this is the new task, task 13. Because it is a milestone, we want to add this task, milestone, um, to the timeline. Okay. So, how do you add a task to timeline? Again, page 1 to 50 give you detailed uh, instructions. Okay. So, here I'm going to show you the steps. So, you click tasks, it is already uh, clicked. Okay. Uh, you click tasks under the properties groups. Okay, properties group. Uh, you have this one here. Add to timeline. Okay, add to timeline. You click it. Okay, so it is added to the timeline here. See, blood drive begins here. You add that new task in the timeline. Okay. Uh, now, um, so we add a new task to timeline. Okay. Uh, next step, um, we completed step Q. Add a new task milestone. Okay. We also add this to timeline. Okay. Next step X. Quick Gantt chart. 
to switch to Gantt chart view, okay, and then um, move task 13 after task 14. Okay. So this is network diagram, quick Gantt chart button on the view bar. This is the Gantt chart view, and then move task 13 to task um, Okay. So this is 13, okay, and you need to select this number, row select, until you see four-headed edge, click and drag down your mouse until it's after row 14, release your mouse, okay, so the blood drive begins, this is a milestone, because the last uh, task. Um, so this is a step T, okay, we completed step T, okay, so we completed step T. Step U, next step, uh, select all the 14 tasks uh, and then create a task dependency by press Control F2 to link all tasks. Okay, so select task one to task uh, 14. I select task one first, okay, and then, oops, select, click and move your mouse, oops, select task one, press and hold down Shift K, select task 14. I repeat, select task one, then press and hold down Shift select 14, task 14. That way you select all the tasks from task one to task 14, okay? Uh, and then I'm not a control F2, okay? Control F2 button. Um, if you are using Mac, maybe I will suggest you here. Go to the task under the schedule, click this link here. This is the link schedule button, okay? Uh, you can also press Control uh, F2 button. Okay. So you linked, see, you linked all the tasks here. Uh -huh. Linked all the tasks. Uh, so we completed step U. Next step V. Okay. Uh, select task nine and change from two weeks to twenty hours. Okay. So task nine, duration here, my two weeks to, oops, to 20, oops, two weeks, you can change here to 20 hours, 20 H. Um, so, Two weeks to 20H. Okay. Uh, next step, um, change the relationship between task 9 and the task to start to start. By default, it is a start, it is a finish start. When you finish the first task, uh, you begin the second task. But sometimes, uh, two tasks can begin uh, simultaneously. So you select task nine and task 10, okay, uh, change. So task nine, task 10, this arrow here, in Gantt chart, this arrow represents the relationship between task nine and task 10. Initially, you finish task nine, then you begin task 10. Now you are asked to start those two tasks at the same time. So you need to change to start, start. So double click this arrow key, double click. You have task dependency dialog box. So type, okay. Uh, what are different types of uh, depend? You have a uh, uh, finish to start, you have start to start, finish to finish, start to finish. But right now you are asked to start to start. Okay, and then you click OK button. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we 
edit task dependency. Okay, to start to start. Okay. Uh, next one, uh, task eleven. Okay. Um, you want to add a constraint hey. to this task. Well, the constraint date is October nine. Okay. Um, so quick task eleven. Task eleven. Okay. Select task eleven and go to tasks. Uh, properties. Um, double click task 11. You have task information box and quick advanced advanced tab. Uh, you have constrict date. So the trick date October 9th, 2019. Constrict date October 9th. October 9, okay, no, 2019, not 2020. October 9, October 9, okay, so that you are constrict date. Okay. So we finished. Uh, the constrict date here, you finish step X, step Y, um, select task names and wrap tasks. Okay, I actually already, all the tasks is already, so you select task names. Okay, and um, it is already wrapped. Okay. So you just double check quick format. If you have not wrapped, you quick format. And then under the columns, this button is the wrap tasks button. Okay, wrap tasks button. Quick again, it is wrapped, it is toggle. Okay. It's on and on and off. Okay. Um, so that is wrap tasks. Okay, last step, you just save your project. So where do you save your project? Remember in step one, you already save it. It is on one drive, so you click save button. Okay, so when you submit, by the way, you need to submit this file on the blackboard here. Okay, under the assignments hands-on. Okay, so what do you need to submit? You need to submit uh, this blood drive file, and you also need to submit page one to page fifty. That file name is a uh, charity golf tournament. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, in summary, what I did in this uh, video. I showed you a specific example uh, how to create a project file uh, from Scratch. Okay, and I we explore the project window. Um, we modify project calendar and the schedule. We identify enter the project tasks, modify tasks and create task dependencies. And finally, we prepare project for printing. RDM on top right corner of uh, the file. Okay, uh, that's all for, remember this video is created on Mac. Okay, uh, all right, thank you so much for your time. I'll see you next time. Right.